Hello everybody, today I'm going to check out the StarTech.com S3540BU 33E4 bay external hard drive enclosure with USB 3.0 and eSATA connectivity. This is an enclosure for up to four 3.5 inch SATA HDDs and even USB 3.0 with UASP is supported. However, just to let you know right away, no, this enclosure does not support RAID. That should apparently be a high quality solution for small businesses or content creators like me that need a lot of storage but either don't have enough space in the computer case or don't even have the possibility to connect each and every hard drive via USB or SATA. With this product by StarTech.com we can have four HDDs running at the same time and that with just a single USB 3.0 or eSATA cable. Two years warranty. The price of this unit is currently at about 180 US dollars. So not too bad actually for what seems to be offered. Huge thanks to StarTech.com for sending me this external enclosure to take a look at. In the box, the HDD enclosure itself, of course, four rubber feet that you can attach to it, and USB 3.0 as well as an eSATA cable, then the universal power adapter, also very kind to include of StarTech.com, NA UK as well as EU power cords. Last but not least, the manual. The S3540BU33E measures in at 114 by 143 by 200 mm. Interface USB 3.0 slash eSATA. 4 drives supported at max. 3.5 inch SATA drive type support. Chipset JMicron JMS 567 bridge controller plus JMB 575 port multiplier. Max transfer rate for eSATA 6 gigabits per second and 5 for USB 3.0. UASP support, max drive capacity, currently tested with up to 6 terabyte 7200 RPM HDDs, but I believe 8 terabyte drive shouldn't be causing any problems either. 180 millimeter fan, 100 to 240 volts, AC input voltage, 2.5 amps input current, 12 volt DC output voltage, 6.5 5 amps output current and last but not least 1040 grams weight without any drives installed of course. The build quality first of all seems to be very good. The whole enclosure is out of metal just the front panel is out of plastic. This one is secured with a single screw at the bottom. With the screw removed the front panel comes off easily. Installing 3.5 inch drives into the base is very easy. There's some hard form padding on the sides for every drive, however no padding on the bottom parts, the rails basically where the HDDs rest as well. This does in fact lead to some extra noise I found out. The front panel luckily does come with some padding as well. Though not natively supported, with a Coric 2.5 to 3.5 inch adapter you could also install 2.5 inch drives into this enclosure. Now to get this enclosure up and running decide whether you want to use eSATA or USB 3.0 connection type. You can't use both at the same time. Some of you might ask, can the hard drives be connected to an USB 2.0 port? The answer is yes, but the speed is drastically limited with only 480 megabits per second at max. For this demo, I'll go with USB 3.0 first. Plug the cable in and also connect the power adapter to the enclosure. Then it's time to power on the enclosure. To the left on the front panel are the LED indicators for power as well as activity LEDs for each of the four drives that can be installed in here. Please note, do not disconnect the enclosure from the host controller, so your PC in this case, when any of the LEDs are blinking. Doing so could lead to data loss as with every device of this type. As you can see, all drives are being recognized perfectly in Windows 10 via USB 3.0. There's no setting that needs to be changed. However, when connecting via eSATA, your system has to support the SATA port multiplier. Also, make sure AHCI is enabled in the BIOS. Other than that, no software or drivers are required. And just so you know, hot swapping is not supported here. A feature I'd really love to see is turning specific hard drives on. That unfortunately doesn't work as with most enclosures. The transfer speeds are very fast over eSATA as well as USB 3.0, especially if UASP is supported by your system. When it comes to performance, I really can't complain at all, but please note that bandwidth is pretty much limited when transferring huge files from one hard drive to another and working on other projects at the same time. That's because all HDDs are connected only via a single cable, be it USB 3.0 or eSATA. That's the worst case scenario, however. It's actually a huge benefit having only a single data cable to connect to your PC and having 
access to all four drives. After all, we don't have a bazillion available USB or eSATA ports, especially not with laptops. And laptops is the right keyword here. Just imagine what you could do with a laptop having this external HDD enclosure connected. The storage could easily be extended, not only good for when working on projects, but also for backups if you ask me. Now performance and feature-wise a very decent enclosure. Sure, no RAID support, but at a price of $180, you can't expect too much. The only thing that bothers me a lot about this enclosure is the fan. The 80mm fan is fairly loud, no matter if the drives are running cool and idle or warmer when under load. But at least the temperature of the installed drives are okay. I just wish overall the enclosure was a bit more quiet. But then again, it's something that can be fixed since StarTech.com gives you the option to easily replace the fan. It comes out fairly easily. That's the only major drawback of this enclosure. Other than that, a pretty solid product, I'd say. I can definitely recommend the StarTech.com S3540BU33E external hard drive enclosure. Despite being a little louder, I'm giving this one my silver award. What are your opinions on this HDD enclosure? Are you using one yourself? Let me know. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.